Correcting knowledge on sound symbol correspondence. Vowel rules or principles and accent generalizations. In words containing a single vowel letter at the end of the word, the vowel letter usually has the long vowel sound. Note that this rule refers to words and not just syllables. There is a similar rule for single word letters at the end of syllables. When there is only one vowel and it is at the end of the syllable, the vowel makes it long sound, as in he, banana, Africa, pizza. In syllables containing a single vowel letter at the end of the syllable, the vowel letter may have either the long or short vowel sound. Try the long sound first. Note that this has the same effect as rule number one. When there's only one vowel in a syllable and it is followed by at least one consonant, the vowel usually makes its short sound. Examples include on, itch, mascot, Wisconsin. This pattern is called a closed syllable because the consonant closes in the short vowel sound. A single vowel in a syllable usually has the short vowel sound if it is not the last letter or is not followed by R, W, or L. When explaining this to students, it is often helpful to indicate that a single vowel in a closed syllable is usually short. Students should be taught that a closed syllable is one in which there is a consonant on the right hand side. They will also need to know, as indicated above, the R, W and L control rules. Vowels followed by R usually have a sound that is neither long nor short. Anytime the letter R follows a vowel that is an R controlled syllable, we often refer to this as the Bose R. The vowel before the R does not make its regular long or short sound. So we say it is being bossed or controlled by the R. Some of these R-controlled vowels can make the same sound. For example, the sound of er can also be represented as er, ear, or. For example, car, storm. Farm, fern. A Y at the beginning of a word has the Y consonant sound. Y at the end of a single syllable word when preceded by a consonant usually has the long sound. And Y at the end of a multisyllable word when preceded by a consonant usually has the long E sound. Some people hear it as short E. Typically, in a one-syllable word, the E at the end of the word makes the long E sound, as in the following words. Cry. Fry. Try. Typically, in a two-syllable word, the E at the end of the word makes a long E sound, as in baby. City. In words ending with vowel consonant silent E, the E is silent and the first vowel may be either long or short. Try the long sound first. In teaching this rule, stress that the student should be flexible. For example, try the short vowel sound if the long one does not form a word in his or her speaking listening vocabulary. It has been demonstrated that students who are taught to be flexible in attacking words when applying rules such as this become more adept at using word attack skills than those who are not taught this flexibility. 
The silent E is powerful enough to turn do into do and at into eight. Let us see some words which need a silent E to ensure that they are pronounced correctly. Cake Lie Ape Cute Name When AJ AY EA E, e and O A are found together, the first vowel is usually long and the second is usually silent, just like in heel, majority, maybe. The vowel pair O may have either the sound heard in cow or the sound heard in crow. This is not the long O sound heard in snow although it is spelled exactly the same. This sound has two spelling patterns, O-W, O-U. These vowels combination O, O are diphthongs when they have the variant vowel sound as heard in cow and house. When A-U, A-W, O-U, OI and OY are found together, they usually blend to form a diphthong. For example, straw, august, boil, loyal, cloud. The OO sound is either long as in moon or short as in book. The letters U are used to spell two slightly different sounds. These words have the long U sound, as in boots, spoon, poor. The letters U are used to spell two slightly different sounds. These words have the short U sound, as in book, cook, foot. If A is the only vowel in a syllable and is followed by I or W, then the A is usually neither long nor short. One way of spelling a long sound is with the letters AI. Why not practice spelling the long A sound by working through this list of AI words? Main Blame 